Okay, so here's an idea in case you have a place that's got electricity but doesn't have a well, or um, you just want to, you know, have access to uh, free water. Uh, this is a dehumidifier. You know, back in the old, old days. Let's, uh, close that up. They used to uh, have something called air wells, where they would just run water through a a tunnel underground which would be cooler and it would pull moisture out of the air. It turns out that uh, moisture water uh, naturally goes into the air. If you live in a place that's humid, not in the desert, uh, this would be a viable option to get water. And um, so you can uh, get nice clean water that doesn't have fluorine or other poisons that they like to stick in it without distilling it. Let's uh, we have our handy dandy power meter here hooked up to, let's turn this guy on, hooked up to our dehumidifier and let's see how much it costs to extract water from, from the air. Let's see, we'll turn it on, we'll turn it on high, and looks like we're doing about 120 volts. Okay, we just reset the meter. Okay. We go through the menu. This is how much it's cost us so far, and we're assuming two dollars and fifty cents point or twenty-five cents per kilowatt hour. And we're twenty volts. Looks like about three point six six amps. and about 440 some watts. Let's just let this run for a little while. And we'll see how much water we get out of it. Okay. Okay, I decided to help it out a little bit too. We just started it and I put a big bucket of water in front of it and a pillowcase over top of it that's all soaking wet so it will suck the uh, moist air through there help it evaporate more quickly. So maybe that'll make it more efficient. Looks like our power is about 400, 470 watts. And we'll see how this works. Okay, so I open up the vent a little bit to make sure it doesn't burn out the fan motor or something so it can have some, some air going freely through it too. But so we'll see how this works. Okay. Okay, so I just took the bucket of water away and the towel and uh, turned this thing off. And uh, let's see how we've done. Okay, so this is, what is this? Cost is about 56 cents at 0.25, assuming 2.5. And, uh, 2.24 kilowatt hours and we've been running for about five hours and five minutes okay and uh, okay so 56 cents let's see how much water we got in here let's see if we uh, collected a decent amount of water okay there looks like there's quite a bit of water in there now so let me uh get something to measure this with and we'll measure how much water we got. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we got out the measuring cup here and there is 500 milliliters right there. And there's still more water. So let's save this. And again, you know, taking the water out of the air is not going to have any fluorides in it. Which you can't get out with a Brita filter, but probably some gunk from the machine so if you really want to drink this stuff I would recommend maybe sticking it through a Brita filter a carbon filter afterwards and then it should be pretty good water I would think if you had to drink it okay let me fill up another one see how much we got okay so I just dumped another 500 milliliters from there into our measuring thing spill a little bit on the floor so there it is
one liter. Okay. And we'll measure out some more because there's still more water in there. See how much we have. Okay, and that looks like about 200 milliliters. That's 150 there, between 150 and 250. So, one, 1.2 liters, and uh, and again, I think this is going to be much more economical than the uh, than the uh, still that I. Uh, was using because that that was uh, not very efficient but this is uh, just cooling down and taking the water out of the air so you don't have to boil it so 56 cents for about 1.2 liters of water with our uh, dehumidifier okay so I think this might be a better way to go if you really had to get water and you didn't have any and you had electricity and one of these things so anyway this is Dr. Jane's and Thanks for watching.